So what you share, Shanti, uh, is the same um, coordination with the 12-step program where we work the 10th step of continual maintenance, where we continue to take our personal inventory, and when we are wrong, we promptly admit it. And that's what you were talking about when you were sharing about repentance. Yes. Yes, you're exactly right. It is like a maintenance program, keeping on top of things. First mistake we make, we don't admit. Mm -hmm. Our ego comes in the way that I did not make any mistake. We don't look at our faults and we look at the faults of others. This way we can never purify ourselves. What scriptures recommend those people who are following higher path, they look inward and look at minutest fault, magnify it, to see where did I go wrong? Mm -hmm. How did I hurt someone? Not what happened outside. How was I responsible? Maybe I did think about it. I dwelt on upon it so that it came into my speech and action. This is called minute introspection so we can correct ourselves from the root cause. The root cause is the mind. Mm -hmm. okay. Also, we can see others' fault and see that they were not really at fault. Circumstances made them do something that was not right. So when we see others, they looked at fault in our ignorance or improper frame of mind. When we do introspection, we recognize a situation where other person did not mean it. And that's why we are able to forgive that person. We sometimes don't look around and react. For example, you know, somebody bumps into you and we get angry. Are you blind or something? <laughs> and we are mad at that person. <laughs> but when you really find that person is blind, yes, sir, I am blind. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so we don't recognize. So when we look from this perspective, all human beings have some weaknesses. So when we have a broader heart, expansion of consciousness, we can absorb all kind of things happening in our life and other people doing that to us, we can forgive them easily. In one quote in uh, Facebook, I said, don't be like a pond that dries out easily and gets flooded easily. Become like an ocean. Expand your consciousness vast like open ocean and deepen your spiritual awareness like the depth of ocean so you can absorb all the shocks of life. Ocean absorbs all the flooding easily and drought time ocean doesn't dry out. So we have to take inventory constantly because we cannot postpone because anything you postpone goes deeper in the mind and gets deeper and deeper and is harder to get out. So, so many sanskaras within us are deep rooted and that causes many problems. So, for healing purpose, one of the affirmations I recommend is I remove any anger in my deep mind for anyone who offended me in any capacity, who hurt me in any capacity, I forgive that person. That can be yesterday, last week, last month, or years ago. Because sometimes we hold that kind of grudge and resentment and that is causing some of the physiological problems in our life. Dr. John Sarno, he did body-mind experiments and I wrote in the Dynamic Quantum Transformation mm -hmm. and he is a famous person. He found many of his patients with a neck problem and back problem was not the real problem 
real problem he called rage deep rage in the mind mm -hmm. person doesn't have apparent anger on the surface but deep rage in the mind that created oxygen deprivation in certain area and that was the cause of problem mm -hmm. so that shows that many of our problems we can alleviate by forgiveness letting go of deep rooted tension deep rooted anger deep rooted attachment everything is in the mind if we purify our mind make it crystal clear problems also will dissolve naturally